Hey, what up? It's your girl Michaela Grace here. Welcome back. And I hope your fall is going well, even though, you know, we've only had fall for like two weeks, it seems. Um, because climate change, you know, whatever. So with the short amount of time of fall that we have, I just want to tell you guys like a few things that I think you should do this fall. Um, yeah, so that's what, <laughs> that's what we're talking about today. Um, number one, shop. Shop till you drop. You can never go wrong with getting new clothes for the winter or presents, you know, start your Christmas shopping like super early. Why not? Um, two, go to a pumpkin patch, find some pumpkins or just walk around. Go to a three, go to a corn maze. Um, four, go, uh, go on a nice little autumn leaf drive. I don't know. Just like drive around, look at the trees. That used to be something I liked, like on long drives to like places, I would just like look outside on like country roads, you know, and just like watch all the trees cause they look so cool. I don't know. Um, that was three, I think. I don't know. Okay, so four, go to a haunted house. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to a haunted house like next week, I think. And I'm so pumped. Um, I've never been to one. It's like my dream, my fall dream is to go to a haunted house and get like so scared. I'm so excited because it's like, it's different than like when people like come out behind a door and scare you like in your house, you know, like you don't know what's going to happen. So like you're really not prepared. Like it, lo it like actually scares you. But to go through a haunted house, it's like, it's, it's kind of like going on a roller coaster. You know that it's, there's going to be a little bit of a thrill, you know, like you know what's going to happen, but you don't know what's going to happen. So the thrill of like, anticipation and everything like that is what makes it so fun so for me like um haunted houses scary movies stuff like that it's like I know I'm gonna be scared I just don't know how or when and that's like the thrill of it you know so that's another thing you can do I think that's number five um number six if you live in a small town and you really don't have a lot to do and you don't want to spend money literally go to Walmart and walk around until like you find something else to do like there's always something to do even if it's just like something to do until you find something to do you know what I mean um was that six I think that was six so seven um bake some cookies <laughs> bake some cookies after you go to Walmart you know like if someone has enough money like buy some cookie dough or mix however you want to make your cookies and then make some cookies and decorate them um or like cupcakes my sister and I like for the past couple years we've we did like um a movie marathon thing with like her friends and everything um and last year like I had some of my friends but the year before I didn't really have a lot of friends so it was me her and some of her friends anyways um, we watched a whole bunch of scary movies and she made cupcakes and everyone got to decorate them and they were like really scary and cool. It was really fun. So that's something you can do. Um, if you like to read, this is going to be number seven, I think seven or eight. I don't know. I lost track. Um, you can go to the library and find a new book or something. Um, eight. <laughs> I don't know. Eight. We'll go with eight. Um, eight is go to the movies. Now, again, this can be like kind of expensive, especially because like if you're in school, you can't go during the daytime, like how in the summer you can just go whenever, you know, you have to wait till like Friday, Saturday night or something. If you can try to go, try to go to a matinee because they're normally between like two to five dollars, which is pretty nice because it's like half price basically. That's what old people do and they seem to be saving a lot of money. <laughs> so, you know, do that. Um, and then like nine, or was that nine? I don't know what I'm saying, guys. This is not going well. Anyways, so nine, um, literally just invite some friends over, have a sleepover, and watch Netflix. It's so simple. And then number 10, the final one of the hour. Um, <laughs> I didn't think this far ahead, guys. Just 
make a blanket no really though um you know those like knot blankets where it's like you just tie the two fabrics together and there's all like these little things around you know invite some friends over go to walmart buy some cookie dough and some fabric and you guys have like a freaking night ahead like you're set for the night so yeah do that um and you know bonus just uh if you don't have friends, you don't want to go spend money, just sit at home and watch YouTube because that's what I do. <laughs> After class, I come home, take a nap, watch YouTube, and then go do whatever I have to do. So yeah, um, this hat is low-key itchy. Oh my goodness, we're going to take this off. Oh, hat hair. But yeah, um, just, hi. Um... That's my list. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, comment below your favorite fall stuff to do. Let me know if I missed anything that you think I should have done, like included. Um, let me know if you like the video. Let me know what you want to see next. If I should do more stuff like this, you know, like lists. Um, then let me know down below. And subscribe hit the notification bell after you do so i hope i made you guys' mondays a little bit brighter and i'll see you guys next time bye